So this is an important part that I use a lot. It's called the large turntable. You get this with uh, the more advanced Technic sets like um, the crane or the fire truck or the sometimes like a bulldozer or a front end loader might include one of these. Anyway, you can also buy them separately from uh, like a customer service. They're uh, kind of, they don't spin very well, they're kind of stiff. And this, is, this can be a problem if you're building something where you use a lot of these on top of each other or where it's supporting a lot of weight. Try to make it spin. I can even put a little, uh, try to put a little more weight on here, more angular momentum. Try to make it go, it just, it doesn't go very far at all. So, um, what I do with these is I, uh, I spray silicone inside them. It's the same kind of silicone that Rubik's Cube people use in a Rubik's Cube. But I take, um, I just kind of take it like this and I pull this apart like that. It's very easy. Lego uh, clearly has thought of this and uh, they know that people are going to try to pull stuff apart and so it won't break. Um, you can just snap it right back together and it comes right apart and then you, you, you take something like um, this uh, spray silicone lubricant, you can get this at a hardware store, and you just put it in here just a little bit. I'm not going to do it on camera because you actually need to do it over newspaper or do it outside or something because it will make everything slippery. I had a part of my floor, part of my rug was was um, slippery for months. Anyway, this is, this is what you end up with. Um, it, will, it will spin a lot better. Here's one. This one, you can, maybe you can't see it unless I connect this onto it. Now you can see it goes much farther. Um, if you're really lucky, you'll get this. Here's one that I did uh, last week. And uh, look at that. I'll show you that again. It, it just, just on its own uh, momentum, it, it'll spin um, nearly forever. So uh, that's what I do. And this. You know, it's a modification, but it's not a modification that involves a scalpel or or painting or, or spray painting or or anything like that. So it's a fairly, uh, I guess you might say, harmless modification in the sense that your Lego will still do exactly what what it would have done before. You might actually want your turntable to be stiff. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Lego thought of this too, and um, that's fine. But if if you're doing the type of models I do. Then you want to uh, you you want to do this. You really want to get rid of as much friction as you can.